All right, let's get this show on the road. Hello, and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. I fixed my audio today. It had been ridiculous the last two weeks. I couldn't figure out why, but I actually fixed it. So we're good on that. Um, yeah, what's going on, guys? What are you up to? Um, it's really cool to see you in here, Smish. I haven't seen you in ages. Uh, did you move to LA yet? Is that a thing? I remember that being a thing. That's how long it's been. I don't even remember if that's a thing. should open up software. That's what I should do. While I'm waiting for chat to catch up. It all gets stuck in there. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, I know that's nerve-wracking, but good. Good. Uh, I have a friend who's actually, uh, one of my best friends, uh, Valerie, is uh, is in New York right now uh, doing film stuff. She's working for a production company right now. Uh, but yeah, I know some people doing some things like that. And I know how crazy it gets with visas and all kinds of things, so it is what it is, but I wish you the best. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I do have some stuff planned for today. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about some stuff, um, before I get into that. Uh, and just, if you weren't here yesterday, which I don't think very many people were here yesterday, uh, I just wanted to show off, I got a micro desk so that I could help my back <laughs> and not be all weird. Uh, but I got this cool micro desk thingy. Uh, which sits between my keyboard and my monitor so that I can write and stuff without having to like lean forward <laughs> but I really like it so in for that I changed my camera setup a bit so I would have options to do fun things so like this for example we can do this but I actually think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna do this yeah Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I wanted to talk about a few things uh, that I've just been thinking about the last little while. And this is kind of my platform, you know? This is my my soapbox, as it were, hence the, the hashtags in the title. So yeah. Uh, and feel free to chime in with questions or responses or anything like that. Uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, so the first thing is, is I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, about the channel and what I'm doing, uh, and then get into art a little bit and stuff like that. I was, um, I was hanging out this morning, uh, on the Adobe channel, which I do, uh, quite often. Uh, hang on the Adobe channel. There's lots of cool artists and stuff that I enjoy hanging out with um, And I do I hang out with a lot more than just writers or anything like that I hang out with visual artists. I hang out with filmmakers. I hang out with different types of people photographers uh, You can learn a lot about the artistic process and about you know what it means To work in a creative industry from those types of people um, and I'm, I'm a big person who's into storytelling and all that, obviously. I mean, that's what I do, right? That's what we all do as writers. But, yeah, I was hanging out with John the Studio, and, and it's, I know it's not John the Studio, it's John Lay, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he's a comic guy, and we were having a talk, and it's been a while since I've talked to someone who's so into art for the process of art uh, in that way of like 
he legitimately called himself a corporate slave at one point and stuff like that. And <laughs> I just went, man, you're such an artist. But yeah, no, I was really enjoying our conversation this morning. And, and sort of how he was talking a lot about learning processes and, and about sort of this idea of, of pushing ourselves past our boundaries, of, of doing the things that are not fun, even though, like, doing them, even though they're not fun, because they will make us better. They will push us further than just doing the things that are fun all the time. And the reason I bring this up is because, in a lot of ways, that's what I want my stream to be. That's what I'm trying to do with my stream. Uh, my good friend, Jorani, uh, who is a, an Adobe mod and, and a creative streamer herself, uh, often reminds me of like, you know, what are ways you can make the stream more entertaining? What ways can you get more viewers and keep them? And those are important things to think about uh, when you're a streamer. Those are important things to think about when you're a creative person. Uh, they say sort of like, what are, what are you bringing to the table? What are you trying to do? So I think those things are important. Um, but at the same sense, I'm tr what I'm trying to do with Accidental Origin, what I'm trying to do with the stream is not just be entertaining. I'm not trying to just be up here and be a fun thing to, for people to come hang out and, and see me write and stuff like that. I'm trying, in a lot of ways, to, to push myself past my boundaries, to do things that aren't fun, to learn, and that's not always the most entertaining thing, and I understand that, but at the same sense, it's, it's about more than just you guys, right? Like, it's about what I get out of it, and about productivity and stuff like that for me, you know? So, I don't know. It, I don't know how people feel about that. Uh, that being said, I'm, I'm very happy with the stream's growth. Uh, it's a slow growth, but at the same sense, like it is a growth and a continual one, uh, which is good and it feels nice. Um, it's cool to, to, to jump into a random stream and have someone be like, Hey, <laughs> uh, Hey, I remember you from this thing or you're doing this, this other thing that was really cool. Um, and the amount of support I've got from Autohosts is really, really awesome too, uh, from a bunch of different people. Uh, so I'm th super thankful about that kind of stuff. Um, especially people I haven't necessarily hung out with a ton, <laughs> uh, but still like me enough to do that kind of thing. And my hair is in the way and getting bugging me. So yeah. That growth checked out. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, right? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just wanted to... I don't know. I wanted to... I'm a type of person who... Uh, and I know we, me and Erica have gone into this a bunch with, like, personality types and stuff with Stevie and all that, but like I'm, I'm the type of person who thinks by saying things out loud. Like I have a whole swirl of thoughts and I'm not sure what they are until I actually say them. So this is a lot of ways, this stream is, is, a, is a venue for me to really get that out, you know, to, to test my feelings, to test my thoughts and ideas. Um, and figure out what what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to do. Um, so that that's important. That's important uh, for all of us. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's an interesting conundrum of sorts. Yeah. I also wanted to talk about uh, something, again, from this conversation I was having this morning, and also some stuff I was talking about with my mother uh, the last couple of days, where, you know,
in, in a certain sense, um, it's easy to feel like a fraud when you're a creative person. But in another sense, um, and this was a great quote I saw on Twitter at some point that one of my friends was saying that, you know, we're all frauds, really. <laughs> um, and we always will be. Uh, it's it's learning to recognize that and move past it. That's what's important. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. My headspace is a little complicated at the moment. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay. It's all it's all a learning process for all of us, you know. Um, so yeah. Fraud in what sense? Uh, fraud in the sense that uh, I don't feel like a a good writer. I don't feel like a good artist. Uh, but people are always like, hey, you're a great writer, or you're a great artist, or whatever, you know. Which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, there's nothing worse than someone trashing you for no reason. Uh, just more that I meant that it's, it's easy to feel like you aren't very good. Uh, I guess that's a better way of putting it, and maybe that's why the quote stuck with me a little bit more. But it's, it's like saying, you know, uh, it's like learning to recognize that you're not very, like, you'll never be good and just moving past it. Because your standards will always be higher than the place that you are. And the better you get, the higher your standards go. It's, it's just, it's just a, an ongoing process uh, that, that, never, that never ends. <laughs> And when it doesn't, that's when you're getting complacent, and that's when your art gets stagnant. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I guess, I guess I should do some writing? <laughs> Question mark? Um, I suppose. Originally, I had planned uh, to work on a little bit more of the, the thing I was doing yesterday of doing some weird Warhammer fanfic -y world building experiments. But honestly, I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe what I should do is a more art of the day store style prompt. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Erica. Um, I agree entirely. And, and I was having that, that thought process this morning. It's not so much that of like uh, an I suck as a what am I trying to say? Um, you know, like am I trying to write so I can get paid or am I trying to write so I say something? And I agree, I agree entirely where, you know, and I don't know if I've talked about this on stream very much, but it is something that I have said to people in real life that I spend a lot of my time chasing a feeling, uh, a feeling that I never know how to capture, but I know it when I recognize it. Um, you know, that feeling of when you're reading, you're reading a great book and your spine is tingling or you're watching a movie and something happens and, and it just takes your breath away. That, that feeling of awe in a sense, but it's not, it's so much more complex than that. Um, and I like to say, like, I like to think that as a writer, like, that's the feeling I'm chasing. I'm chasing the creation of such a feeling. If that makes any sense.
I can see that. But yeah, I agree that there are moments that resonate. In a certain sense, there 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 are moments that change that change who you are. Because those are, those are the moments that we remember. Those are the moments that that shake up our ideas, that that change the way that we think about things. Um, you know, they they inspire a whole new thought process. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just catching up with the chat here a bit. Yeah, no, I agree entirely, Erica. Um, that sort of conundrum of it's a very thin line that we walk, right? Like it's a very thin line that we walk where I, I give my stuff out to people. I let people read it. I want people to read it so that I can get feedback. And feedback is great. Feedback of any sort is great, no matter how small um, it is. And uh, you should totally treat treat the people who who read your stuff who help you edit and all that as wonderful people because they are for helping you do that but in a certain sense i don't you don't want people just to tell you it's good because you because they're your friends and they want to help you they want to to give you confidence um not that they should trash you either it's, it's that fine line, right? Like, of, of w how much is too much or how much is too little, right? Where it's like, I want you to tell me it's good. If it's good, I want you to tell me it's good if it's actually good. But then you can't trust them saying it's good because you have no, you have no basis of, like, is it actually good? Is it kind of good? Are they just being supportive? <laughs> um, hence the fine line, right? But I think what you're kind of talking about there is you're saying, you know, the 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 thing where you, you get published somewhere or you set something down on the internet and someone finds it and is like, man, this helped me, this changed me. I enjoyed this. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to switch this here. You know what? I'm gonna open it up and say, hey chat, uh, what do you want me to write about? What do you want me to write today? Do you want me to write today? Do you want me just to keep soapboxing it? I can do that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm open. I'm open to what you people are interested in.
I'm gonna draw the things inside, tell the story. Okay, sure. I assume you mean don't necessarily physically open a drawer, but describe opening a drawer. I don't know where my phone is. Oh well. I'm going to set a 15 minute timer. Uh, 15 minutes, yeah, well, I'm going to set it for 2, 12.40. So I'm going to work on this prompt until then. me bro uh i thought it was following you oh i don't think i'm following you on this am i i'm following you on my other my other account the actual account i use for watching i'm just not home on fridays uh, i'm always at work so
<laughs> yeah, I work on Fridays. I work evenings on Fridays, that's the thing. It's not just that I work on Fridays, it's that I work, like, I leave work for work around 12.30 p.m. sort of thing. <laughs> words down. That's the important part. Yeah. I'm always at work.
Oh, all right, well, we got five minutes left. Be ready with another prompt, guys. So I'll do uh, I'll do another one till about one o'clock, and then I'm gonna take a break, and then uh, then uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes.
Oh, there's the alarm. Two fifty, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, probably closer to two forty, I guess. All right, what else you got for me? I hate weird formatting. It throws me off so hard. Okay. Let's set my timer again. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Fair enough. That is completely fair.
right. Alarm number two. But we got 400 words. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. I am going to take a uh, 10 minute break. Uh, and uh, yeah, get some water and stuff. I will be back. Uh, so don't go anywhere. If you have any more prompts, just hit me up. If not, uh, I'll do something else. We will see. Uh, see y'all in a bit. <laughs>